Hey, welcome back to the Print House, guys. Uh, I'm just doing a banner cutting video today. I had somebody uh, message me about using this trimmer and uh, really asking me if it's really any faster than just using a straight edge and uh, blades. Um, and the answer is yeah, but the thing is it's more convenient than anything because I use it for the long edges cut for, with the, the trimmer and I use my uh, my awesome Amazon two footer here which I got a, a 12 inch one too so uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and just demo cutting this banner up um, I had quite a bit of banners yesterday so it just got me thinking well maybe I should just do a video using one or doing one with this so here's what I do okay first of all when I lay out my banners in design I try to save up, save as much space as I can, and uh, I bought up banners to the edges here, like that. So all I have to do is cut once for two banners in the middle, and then I cut the outside. So what I'm going to do is I always tape it down, and this literally takes me a couple seconds to tape down, just so it doesn't move. Because when you're using this, I'm not going to, I'm going to, I'm going to stop talking and then do the demo. But when you're using this, it's a palm trimmer, so you go like this. You're pushing down. I don't know if you can see here. I'm not sure, but it's a palm trimmer, so you're going to push down all the way across. Uh, but I'm going to go through the whole process without talking as much. Um, and then, what I was saying, when you're doing it with your palm like this, sometimes it can move. If your table is not completely flat, which is, you know, mine is, a, is almost flat. There's a little bit concave, concave in the middle here, so it get, sometimes in the middle of the ruler, it slides um, on that side, anyways. So I'm going to go ahead and just start from scratch and uh, show you how long it takes to uh, trim and grommet a banner. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my, uh, my grommet press out. My grommets. So I'm gonna need four. I put, uh, usually I put two on each side. That way I just move the the grommet over there. I don't do the grommets backwards on the banner. So, like yesterday, I did 10 banners. Now, if I'm going to do that many in a row, I would put out as many grommets I need for the 10. That way, I don't have to go back and forth so they could flow. Now, just for example, I did like 10 banners in less than two hours. So, that was printing and doing them at the same time. So, definitely a decent amount of money made on those. For those banners. So, so this is the trimmer. The links in my description. Um, I love it. I love this thing. You know, this is the seventy-one or seventy-two. What is this? Uh, seventy-one. It's seventy-one inches. Okay. So, like I said, I'm gonna start off like this. I tape. I tape. I reuse the tape. I use the same piece of tape. I fold one side, and I use the same piece of tape the whole time. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do this. All right. So, starting now, this is what it takes. I just line up the one side. Once you do a few, you get the hang of it. Okay, that's the one. I'm gonna put that one aside. I'm not gonna do this one. No, actually, I'm gonna do that one. I'm not rushing. I'm just working at a regular pace. Okay, I'm gonna put this one off to the side here, and I'll do that. All right, so. So right now we already know that that side is already cut, ready to go. So what I do is I go about six, seven inches off from the edge, and I go ahead and I tape it, tape it down again. That's it. It's just just to hold it from sliding. That's all it is. So I line it back up. I always put a border on there so I can see where I'm going. That one. I just threw. <laughs> It just grabbed a couple of my grommets there. And then I'm done with the straight, the long one, trimmer. And what I'll do is I'll just get it out of the way, pull this up, grab my two footer, and my blade. Okay? This is real time. Maybe you're faster than me. You'll, you'll find that the more you do it one sitting, the faster you'll get, you know, at doing each one. So, I did another video where I was explaining how I packed them. 
like a professional pack. All right, so the banner's trimmed, ready to go. Now for inside banners like these that I do, I don't put them, I don't, I don't fold the, the ends and banner tape them. You don't need to for in, these indoor banners. Um, they're gonna be outside flapping around in the wind. That's a different story. You can put banner tape on and fold them more, or you can buy pre hemmed ones, whatever, whatever the case is. So I put my, brand, my, my grommets on the side. The one fell in the garbage when I flipped that paper around. So that's it. All right, so I'm sliding down. So uh, what I do is I do, I do this side like this. Put it on. This ground and press is pretty, pretty easy. You don't strain on it. Like I said, I keep my grommets same direction. Now I know I could have flipped that over. I could left it on one side, but I'm gonna. I don't want to work on this far end like that. So I'm gonna work like I sh like I'm showing you. Okay, that's one side done. It doesn't take long, you know what I mean? I guess I had an extra ground there. Oh, actually it's for down here. So I'll do that side. Put the top on here. I think these are number four grommets. That side. One more and we're done. And I showed in the other video, like I said, how I pack pack them up in a waterproof uh, bag. That way if the packages ever keep them, you know, that just keeps them nicer. So that's that guys. That's that's making a banner. I could have went faster by explaining it. it went a little bit slower, so um, that's a, a 17, 16, 17 by a four foot banner right here. So I did 10 of these yesterday, so, but that's that. That's how I trim, use the trimmer and grab it a banner that fast. So thanks for watching guys. Like, subscribe, hit that notification. Thanks. Bye.